Riders coming out on track, the championship up for grabs here. What fabulous scenes we have witnessed tonight, and what a grandstand finish we have here for you in Torin this evening. Round number 10, the final round, really has been a terrific season. We've been all over Europe. The guys have been battling hard. It's been an attritional year. Riders suffering injuries at uh, inopportune moments. Uh, our best wishes to those, particularly Wilfred and Janowski and Anders Thompson, all missing out here at the back end of the year. But that man, is destiny on his side, or will something trip him up? You would suggest not. As I say, he's done it three times before. And uh, he's not the sort of man to uh, miss up, but uh, with Freddie Lindgren showing such great determination, particularly in the last That's couple of rides, he wouldn't put it past him hitting the front here. Yeah, he's going to want to emulate that start in the semi-final from gate two. He's done it once, can he do it again? But he's got to stop Smarslik from getting to the corner and then he's got to let it run. He has. Bartosz Smarz that goes from the inside gate. Gate number two in blue is Freddie Lingwin. Gate number three in white is Patrick Dudek and Neil Madsen off the outside in yellow. You can touch the atmosphere. It is just unbelievable out there. These vital moments as they prepare themselves for this all-important final. Not many people can be world champions. It really is a privileged position to do. Not an easy task. Marslik's done it three times. He is the reigning champion. Freddie Lingwin searching for his first world title. He's been around a long time, Freddie. He's just got better and better. The older he's got, he's a determined character who's seen it on show once again tonight. Here we go then. Final in Torren. Which way is it going to go now? The green light's on. Takes her up. Smarslik's made it. What a start from Smarslik. Doesn't miss it. Freddie Lingren coming through in second place. Slamming the door shut on Leon Madsen, but Smarslik's away. Freddie's got lots of work to do from there. Leon Madsen now coming up the inside, pushing hard in third place. But Smarslik nailed the start there on the inside gate. Uh, Bartosz Smarslik doing everything right from the inside gate. It's a fitting way for him to secure his fourth World Championship if he can stay there. Oh, look at him wheeling out front. He has got that thing hooking up and going quick. Lingering in second place under pressure from Madsen, but that will be irrelevant. Smarslik out front looking good. Smarslik now just a lap away for his fourth World Championship. Leon Madsen now coming through, pushing hard in third place, trying to get the better of comes through in the second place. But out of the last corner, Bartosz Smarzik is a four-time world champion. What a night for him. After all the drama two weeks ago in Bayern. Wow, what a way to respond. Back-to-back -back SGP world championships for that man. Incredible scenes here in Torren. Tell you what, he did it in style. He he did did indeed. That would have been a terrible two weeks leading up to this meeting. He's and look through. how he's responded. Absolutely right, Chris. He's been through agony. He was crying. He was desperate after Boyens. Been DQ'd there. But he's come back here two weeks later. And he's just proven to everybody, I am the man. Fourth World Championship, back-to-back -back championships. What a night for Smarslik. You've got to give a lot of credit to Freddie as well. Oh, he took it to him, He's didn't he? taken it to him. He's ridden strongly throughout the year. But in the end, that start in the final just shows you why he's a four-time world champion. Brilliant scenes, brilliant scenes. Yeah, fully deserved. The way he's responded to the disappointment in Voyant has been outstanding. Acted professionally, apologised to his fans, came here, got on with the job. Absolutely right. And Bartosz Smarslik now, tremendous sportsmanship there. When you get the drama like that, when it goes down to the final race in the final round, doesn't get better than that. Sporting theatre here in Torrent tonight, in the Marion Rose Arena. What a night it's been. It's been a fabulous advert for World Championship Speedway. Many congratulations to all concerned. Smarslik's the winner. Second place is Freddie Lindgren. Martin Vasilik picks up bronze medal. It's now beginning to sink in. Yeah. Really is.
loves winning, that man. He's addicted to winning. He loves winning. It's going to be around for some time, you know. Tony Ricardson with six world championships is here. He fancies he's going to equal that at the very least. 2019, 2020, 2022, and 2023. Freddie Lingren will be back next year. He'll give it his best shot. Certainly he's given it his best shot. Pulled back 18 points two weeks ago, but that man has stood strong. Everybody saying before the meeting, everything to lose, but the way he's ridden, I mean, that's what champions are made of, aren't they, Chris? They can sustain that and produce those stunning rides when they need it. Yeah, and to do it off the back of the couple of weeks he's had leading into it, you know, nothing else could have gone against him anymore. He's just done it superbly. He's reacted superbly. Professionally, he's put in the hard yards, he's done a bit of extra testing that they don't normally see him doing in this last week. And look at him. That celebration will go on long into the night, I feel. Yeah, and I do hope he does, because there's no doubt that this man is the real deal. He is uh, a dominant force in World Speedway now. It is his time. We saw him burst on the scene as a teenager, of course, and we knew right away that he was going to be something special. And so it's proved. And Often you see riders at such tender age burst on the scene and then they fade away, but not this man. He has a great work ethic. Let's watch it again, Chris. Oh, yeah, head down there for Bartosz Marsic. Just drops the clutch, reacts first, puts his head down. He says, there's no way anybody's going to beat me to the corner. He's actually pulled out five or six bike lengths before they even get to the end of the first straight. And uh, Freddie didn't make a great start. Certainly nowhere near as good as he did in the semi-final. Slams the door shut there on Leon Madsen on the opening lap. But by now, look at the lead that Smarslik's got already. Full commitment, riding right out, using every single last little bit of track. I'm sure he would have heard those chains rattling away there, <laughs> especially towards the end of the race. But a super, super ride. And Freddie Lindgren, again, he only knows one way to battle, battle, battle. He's did it all night long. But it's that man, Smarslik, four-time world champion. Sounds good, doesn't it? And I'm sure, as I like say, the sound of that. he will indeed. And uh, it just took a few moments for it to really sink in. He looked a bit stunned when he came off the bike initially, but now it's uh, all beginning to the frustrations, all the uh, mental processes that he would have been through um, uh, in the last couple of weeks, the attention to detail on all the equipment. I'm sure the team have put in the overtime in the last 14 days, that's for sure. But, it's uh, tough on the team too, you know, they're watching a final like that. The World Championship depends on it. They've got, they've, they've sorted out the bike, they've lined up the chains, they, you know, they've done all the work. Yeah. It's tough for them too. Have I done everything up? It's a bit changed. Too late then. <laughs> <laughs> Joy on the face of Bartosz Smarslik, rightly so. What a rider, what a career.